Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're going to discuss Tilray. We're going to cover pre-earnings news and analyst reports. To include a short interest report as well. And we'll cover our current position and our cover calls against our positions. And we'll discuss a little bit about the stock direction. If you're new to our channel, go ahead and click the money icon below to review our past videos. Please smash that like button and subscribe so you can get our future content. So let's get busy. Here is our current position. We own 2,000 shares of Tilray. If everything goes well, with our cover calls against the position on the 15th of October, if it hits our mark, we'll achieve $2,813 worth of profits, premiums and profit. Our first week, we achieved, so far, $1,341 in October, a premiums of profits, and out of that amount, $310 is, is profits because we had to pay some fees. All right, we have about 15 minutes left of the market being open, and the share dropped about 2.52% again today. With the volume about average, and the market cap just dipped below five billion dollars. That's crazy. This thing should be a ten billion dollar company, in my opinion. Three of the indices are in the green, and one in the red. We have three analyst buys in October for rating purposes. The low side is a dollar twenty-seven. The high side is twenty-seven dollars. The average is fifteen. First item we're going to cover is short interests. Based on this report, from 831 to 915, we increase in short positions about 6 million shares. And that's an increase of 18% shorted. So now we're at around 9% of the float that's shorted versus 7.7%. I'll place this article down below so you can review it. Now, Tilray to report Q1 earnings, what's in the cards? As you all know, that the tomorrow morning... Before the market opens, the first quarter results will be out. Now, the first quarter results covers all the way until August 31st. And they talk about Tilray being the le leading global cannibalist lifestyle and consumer packaged goods company. Then they're going back to when we took on Alpha. And then in July, we took over another company of launching a 420 Imperial IPA, the first line extension off the flagship 420 brand. You can look at their website and they'll show you all those different items. And then they state that the new company expects to generate approximately $80 million of avenue cost synergies within 18 months and plans to achieve cost synergies in the key areas of cultivation and production, cannibalists and product purchasing, sales and marketing, corporate expenses to date. Tilray has achieved 35 million dollars worth of synergies of savings or you can call it cost reductions they talk about the share performance that it's up currently at 32.6 percent since a year ago back in 2021 i will place this article down below so you can review the the whole article the other article we're going to cover is the capitalist producer tilray wins dismissal of shareholder lawsuit in New York. They stated that Tilray fraudulently overstating the value of the marketing and revenue sharing agreement with Authentic Brands Group. And the judge ruled in their favor. So Tilray don't have to pay any extra money. I will place this lawsuit down below as well so you can review it. You see each one of these ticks are one day and you can see we've been trending lower for a while now. We haven't been this low since back here in January 2021. Now what we got to do is we got to keep the support level above 1051 as you can see up here. Otherwise we could dip even further down to around $8 to 933 level. The stop loss stated in this diagram is 935. So what we need to do is get some decent news tomorrow morning before the market opens. So we can go in a northern bound instead of keep instead of trending lower. We need to get back up here to the twelve dollar level at least, if not the twelve sixty eight, like I'm showing you here. But we're gonna have resistance at the thirteen eighty. So that's my belief. If we get some decent earnings tomorrow, that we're gonna pop back up and get up here to around twelve dollar level. 
If not, we're going to stay flat and we could go down to even further down to about 850. I appreciate you guys watching. I really like Tilray for long term and dipping your toe here is not that bad as well. And you can always just keep buying into whenever it goes to even lower. If it goes lower, it goes sideways. But we need some good news tomorrow at earnings. Uh, I'm going to maintain my position with 2,000 shares. And I'll keep doing cover calls against the position. Please share our videos with others. If you have any questions or comments, place them down below. Please click the like button and subscribe so you can get our future content. And you guys have a great week. And be safe out there. Until next time, this is Sunny, and I'm out.